Hello and welcome to the first part of my Melee Combat System tutorial series. For this series I'll be using a third person project and I already imported some animations and two meshes for my weapons. In this episode we're gonna create easy pickup actor and attach our weapons to our character. So let's start. First we need to create socket in our skeleton mesh for our weapon. So let's find your hand that you want to attach it. Right click on it, add socket. Let's call it weapon socket. You can add preview mesh so you will see how your weapon will be attached to your character and you can adjust it to your liking. Okay, this seems alright. Now you can remove your preview mesh. Save, close. Now we'll create a new folder that will be for our weapons. So let's call it weapons, open it, and we need blueprint class of the type actor that will be actually our parent class for every weapon that we'll create so let's call it master weapon open it and let's add component to it component of the type static mesh that will be actually our weapon so let's call it weapon and we'll need one variable called equip socket of the type name and it will be editable compile save close now you can right click on it, create child blueprint class. I'm gonna call it weapon sword, open it, and if you click on your static mesh, on the right side you can choose mesh that you want. So I want this. And if you go to the class defaults, you can set your equip socket to the socket that you created. I already forgot the name, so I'll copy it and paste it here. Compile, save, close. Now we need to go to our third person character and create two variables. One will be called equipped weapon and it will be of the type master weapon reference. And another one will be, will be called attached weapon and it will be master weapon class. Compile, save and close this. Now we're gonna create our pickup actor, so let's create another folder and call it pickup. Open it, and first we're gonna create a widget blueprint for it, so let's call it pickup widget. Open it, delete canvas panel, and add text. The text will say press E to pick up item. Justification will be center and it will be desired. Compile, save, close this, and we're gonna create another blueprint class of the type actor, which will be our pickup actor. So let's call it that way. Open it and add widget components to it. Call it pickup widget. On the right side, we're gonna need to set space to screen and set our widget class to our pickup widget that we created. Now we're gonna need to add another component that will be collision. I'm gonna choose sphere collision and let's call it just collision. You need to attach it to default scene root if you have it in your widget and I'm gonna raise the radius of it to 300. Now if you go down you're gonna see on component begin overlap, click on it, and on component end overlap, click on it. Go to the event graph, and we want to set visibility of our pickup widget. Let's type set visibility. Copy it down here. Hook everything. If we begin to overlap our collision, we want to set this visibility to visible, and if we end, we want it to be hidden. And upon the start of the game, we want it to be hidden too, so uncheck visible here. Now drag off of the other actor and we're gonna cast it to our third person character. So we can get all the variables that our character has. Drag off third person character and type set attached weapon. Copy this down here. And don't forget to hook other actor to our cast. And now we need to create one variable that will be called item to add. 
and it will be of the type master weapon class reference and it will be editable and drag it right here so if we overlap our collision with our character we're gonna set attach weapon to the weapon that we want and if we end overlap it will be set to nothing so compile save and close this now let's go to our third person character and create custom event that will be called pickup event first we're gonna see if our attached weapon is valid class if it's not we don't want to do anything but if it is we want to see if equip weapon is valid if it's not we want to spawn actor from class the class will be our attached weapon and the transform we're gonna get from the mesh get socket transform hook everything and the socket name we're gonna get from our attached weapon if we type get class default now we want to set our equip weapon to the weapon that we created and we're gonna create function that will be called equip this function will simply attach our weapon to our mesh so attach to component parent class will be our mesh and socket name will be equip socket all these rules will be snapped to target and now we can return go to the event graph and get our function here hook it up and now we need to call the event that we created so I'm gonna call it with E and simply if it's pressed call pickup event compile save and now it's done if you drag your pickup actor to the world and set your weapon if you are near to it you can see your widget and if you click E you're gonna have the sword in your hands if you have this weird movement it is because the collision of your weapon is too big and your character cannot move properly the way that you can solve this problem is just go to your master weapon and set your collision to no collision at all now if you play and pick up our weapon we can move freely if you want to add another weapon you can just create child bl blueprint class let's call it weapon hammer open it and you just choose another mesh for your weapon and don't forget to set your equip socket and now if we drag another pickup actor in our world and set it to weapon hammer we can pick up our hammer if you want to change between these two weapons you need to go to your third person character and right here when we check if our equip weapon is valid you want to drag off is valid and type destroy actor and we'll just hook your equid weapon and now go to spawn actor now you can really choose between your two weapons okay that's it for this episode thanks for watching leave comment or like if you want and i'll see you in the next video